Welcome back, everyone, to the smartest year of our quest to become the world's greatest conversationalist. My name is Gordy, and I was just wondering, what is the world's slowest experiment? And why has it been running since 1927? Give me five minutes. I bet you can work this into a conversation today. And also like and subscribe so you can keep up. I do this every single day. Day. At the University of Queensland in Australia, a small glass funnel has been dripping since 1927. And I air quote because it's not been dripping very often, just once every decade, give or take. And I'll even show you a video of a rare pitch drop that was captured on video in just a minute here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. It's very satisfying to see it drop. And this is the pitch drop experiment and it's now recognized by the Guinness World Records as the longest running lab experiment on earth, still producing results nearly a century after it began. It started with physicist Thomas Parnell who wanted to show that some materials that look solid are actually liquids. They just flow extremely slowly, he melted pitch, a tar-like petroleum residue used to waterproof ships and roofs, roofs, if you will. And he poured it into a glass funnel. And after it cooled, it looked like a black glassy rock. About three years later in 1930, he cut the tip off the funnel and he waited for it to drip. And the first drop fell eight years later in 1938. And since then, eight more have fallen. Look how proud he is. Just a man and his son, you know? It's just a, I feel so proud. On the ninth drop finally formed in 2014, but even that didn't go quite as planned. It touched the eighth drop, and so it just hung there for weeks, refusing to fall. And so when Professor Andrew White lifted the bell jar to replace the beaker underneath to give it more space to fall, the stand wobbled slightly, and the drop finally snapped free. And after 13 and a half years of waiting, the world's slowest experiment was helped along by a shaky hand. I hate that. For some reason, that really bothers me. But, you know, I understand why he moved it. You know, it's piling up too high. It's not dropping. So I, I, I'm glad he, he moved it. I am unglad that it happened to, to result in a drop. Because before then, no one had ever witnessed a drop fall. The eighth drop of the year 2000 fell when the camera was literally having technical difficulties. And the seventh, back in 1988, fell during the weekend. Uh, so it became like a running joke. It's like the most boring cliffhanger in science. An experiment demonstrates viscosity, how resistant a fluid is to flow. Pitch is so viscous that it's estimated to be 230 billion times thicker than water. It shatters if you hit it with a hammer, but if you leave it alone, it oozes, proving that the line between solids and liquids isn't as clear as we think. Each drop takes between seven and 13 years to form, depending on temperature and humidity. It's been running continuously for nearly a century, surviving multiple custodians, a world war, and several changes of university leadership. Other universities have also tried similar experiments. Trinity College Dublin has one that started in 1944, and its drop was actually caught on camera in 2013. So here's a video of that, if I haven't already been showing it, because that is good to see. It's good to see some actual action, right? Oh, baby. <laughs> Uh, there's another in Georgia Tech and, and, and one even older in Wales that started in 1914 and rediscovered decades later in a dusty cupboard. But Queensland's remains the most famous partly because it's still going and partly because it's been live streaming now since the year 2000. And I put the live stream link in my sources, but if you see, have seen any of the pictures that I've shown, it's exactly what it looks like. So if you're gonna go to the live stream like me, you're gonna excitedly click on it, you're gonna go, all right, let's see what this thing looks like. And you go, all right, that is not moving at all. I'm not sure what I expected there. Even on that feed, it's like eight years to go. And you're like, I don't have the time for this. But, uh, you know, today, as you can see in the live stream, if you click that in my sources, the experiment just kind of sits behind this glass in a, in a climate-controlled cabinet at the University of Queensland. It's still dripping, but just imperceptibly, though inevitably, it is dripping. Just not really something that we have evolved, uh, you know, at a speed that we've evolved to uh, perceive. The next drop is expected sometime around 2035. 
the lab is like, oh, we don't promise anything. All right. We, no promises. So maybe you should tune in right now and just maybe you're the, maybe it'll drop for you. <laughs> uh, so there you have it. It's a small, perfect paradox, a live experiment you can actually watch happen. And in a world obsessed with instant results, there's something kind of, I don't know, cathartic, beautiful about an experiment that's kind of teaching patience about one or two drops per generation. Go check out my sources, which can be found in the YouTube description. Go check out that live stream. Let me know if uh, it has dropped since I dropped this episode. Check out the short version, which you can find on social media everywhere at Smartest Year Ever. That's how you can find me there for that 45 second condensed clip. And in the meantime, stay curious and stay clever on our quest to become the world's greatest conversationalist. I will see you tomorrow in the smartest year ever.